Hi. Welcome to our store. How may I help you today? Mm hmm Well, that's quite alright. Yeah, I can definitely help you navigate some of our um, fragrances and stuff. Yeah, it, it can be pretty overwhelming um, if you don't know the kind of things that you like. I definitely understand that. Yeah. I oh, will... Do you have any ideas on what you want to start with? Some people just go straight for the colors they like as like a, an, an easy introduction. Yeah. Okay, well I can just pick a random one from here if you don't mind. Yeah, these are just our testers, so it's okay if we test them. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Okay, well... Um, let's start, I guess, with this one. This is, um, a mist perfume fragrance. Yeah. Um, more of a spring summer scent is Tahiti Island Dream. Yeah. Does not say the scent is intended to smell like, so why don't we just spray it and see. Yeah, okay. Spray just in the air here, okay? Kind of fruity, kind of floral. Yeah? Yeah, it, it's a light scent, I think. Um, definitely more summer than spring, to be honest, but, okay, yeah, I'm um, just gonna set this back, move it to the back, okay, let's see, do we want to do another fragrance? Yeah, okay, well, let's just grab them real quick, go, Alright, let's do another summery one, <laughs> sort of. Yeah, this one is Sparkling Limoncello, like the drink, yeah. So it's got, I think that's vanilla, the flower, some lemons. Okay, yeah, let's spray this. Yeah. Definitely lemony, but not like too lemony. I think it's it's very soft. Yeah, kind of like a little dash of lemon extract. Yeah. So what do you think of this one? Okay. That right there. Okay. So this one. Um, it's called Endless Weekend. It, yeah, there's no real fragrance definer on any of these. Um, so let's just spray. Go. Yeah, there's a, a bit of a sugary smell to it, but I think for the most part what I pick up on personally is like lime. Yeah, it's it's more lime than anything else. Yes, even though that's lemon and this is more lime, they are pretty different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one, the limoncello, is, is definitely more on the, um, softer, airy kind of side, like, I feel like maybe depending on the person, um, you wouldn't really be able to tell that they're wearing a perfume per se, or like, oh, maybe they just smell like lemons, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so if that's your sort of thing, if you don't really like to smell perfumey, then I would definitely say the limoncello. Or, 
this one right here is pretty as a peach so it smells like peaches sugary peaches yeah or um you know those peach ring candies it smells like that but as a perfume yeah Okay, and the last uh, fragrance we have up here, which is, happens to be one of my favorites actually, um, is chamomile and honey. So you can see the chamomile flowers on it. I think this one smells so beautiful. Again, it's light. Um, these aren't any of the musky super perfumey types that we sell um, although we do have those yes if, if that's what you prefer but would you like to smell this one okay mm. yeah it's not as fresh as the other four but um it's definitely light and floral, kind of smells like summer air, yeah, yeah, it's, it's definitely a good one, definitely a favorite, <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, okay, um, so, from any of those fragrances, do you have an idea of, like, scents for lotions? We do have that one, yeah. Grab it. And just grab the other lotions right here. Um, so, this is the Prettiest Peach Lotion. So usually all of our scents come in a lotion, a body butter, body wash, a fragrance. Um, but they don't always smell the same because of the basically ways that the formulas are mixed so you can't always make them smell exactly the same you know, shea butter holds on to a scent differently than what's used to make uh, body wash and what's used to make uh, fragrances so the alcohol is going to affect the scent differently So, it still smells like peach, and it's still under the same scent, but I will say it does smell different because of the shea butter, so. Yeah. It, it still is very peachy, yeah. And it doesn't, um, I don't find this one to be too intense to wear. Yeah, it's still very light, just like the fragrance. up here. I guess I will just share them at the same time. But first I will show you this one. This one is called Be Enchanted. Um, see? Okay, it is a sparkling blend of iced pomegranate and sugared petals. Whatever that means by sugared petals. Oh yeah, I, I definitely um, am, am not one of the people that curates the scents. So some of the ingredients don't really make sense to me, but I think that's what keeps the anonymity of the scent and keeps people from like recreating it and stuff. This one's a bit more not musky, but not light compared to the others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is, it is very nice, yeah. I like to <laughs> imagine the sort of sugar described ones as like things a princess would wear, personally. 
um, they're very sweet, but in like, um, a bakery sort of way. Yeah, like a little macaron or frosting on a cupcake. Um, unfortunately we only have the lotions, um, and I think we got a box of the fragrances today. Um, but yeah, the, uh, body washes are all sold out on this one right now. I don't know if we're gonna restock it this spring, but, um, like to be on a, um, little wait list for that definitely let me know um, yeah it's it's not um, anything other than like you get an email when it's in stock yeah online and in any location you prefer yeah you can do that with any with any of them that we don't currently have in stock right now but what we do have a huge abundance in recently um, is champagne toast. So this is the lotion and this is the body wash. As you can see it is a bit of a fan favorite. A lot of people have been using the sample. Um, yeah, so the fragrances are pink champagne, black currant chambord, chambord? Probably not that. Probably chambord. <laughs> um, Sparkling Nectarine and Sugared Musk. So, if you would like, you can smell them side by side and see the sort of difference between how the formulas interact with the fragrance. There's just a slight difference with this one. I like the smell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is sparkly right here. It's super pretty. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sugar um, really does come through with this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. I agree. I do think that the Bee Enchanted one has a bit of a musk scent to it as well, even though it doesn't really share that. This is definitely a fan favorite, I think. So, next sort of pair we've got right here um, is not a new one, but we got a stock during winter, so we still have some left over from that. Is the vanilla mocha martini. Um, so fragrance notes are cozy cappuccino, vanilla orchid, and white tonka bean. Yeah. So definitely a winter, fall scent. <laughs> yeah. It is very nice. It, it smells a bit like a marshmallow or whipped cream on morning coffee. I know. <laughs> this is the um, body wash. Yeah, you can smell the difference in these two. Let me see side by side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one has m a bit more of the um, mocha I would say, and this one smells a bit more vanilla y. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad that we found one that can you can really smell the sort of difference. Um, it's really not too much, and it still smells like vanilla mocha martini whenever it's on, but I just always think that it's interesting, and it's something that I like to point out because. Sometimes people um, don't realize that, that it can smell different, and it doesn't... This is also like another thing that people don't realize is that 
scents smell different according to the person. You know, we all carry our own smell, basically. Um, and the fragrances sort of adjust to that based on what you already smell like. It's not like a, like a science science, but it is kind of like, um, lip gloss that changes color based on your pH value. Yeah, it's kind of like that. So, yeah. Yeah, things tend to smell more like sugary, brown sugar on me. Um, and then it will smell more like, like the same scent will smell a little more fruity on my sister, so. We always like to see the difference <laughs> on us. Um, else? Oh, here's one more pair. Yes. This one, which we are almost out of, but we should get um, a big stock for spring, actually. It is the Dahlia scent. So the fragrance notes are Velvet Dahlia Petals, crisp pear, praline musk, and whipped tonka bean. So, it's very nice. Um, yeah, there's just something so nostalgic to me about the Dahlia scent. And this is not a uh, lotion or body butter. This is actually a body scrub. Yeah. Um, It's a, it's a bit lighter than, yeah, it's a bit lighter than, um, the body wash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's kind of like a lip scrub, but for your body. Um, don't recommend using on your face, though. That would be way too harsh. Um, but yeah, like your feet, if you have calluses or dead skin before you shave, um, things like that, yeah. Yeah. Yes, they're basically the Bath and Body Works equivalent of the tree hut scrubs that you find. Yeah. What do you think of that one? Mm-hmm. Well, we do have a couple more over here. Um, sort of standalone body washes. Would you like to smell those as well? Yeah, all right. So, standalone body washes, and then for this one right here is also a body scrub. This is the In the Stars Celestial Scrub, and the Key notes are starflower, whatever that is, sandalwood musk, sugared tangelo, which I think is a fruit, white agarwood, radiant amber. Yeah, I haven't smelled this one in a long time actually. It's definitely more musky than all the rest that we've. Yeah. But the sugar comes through. It, it definitely comes through. I don't smell anything fruity about it though, but that's probably because the wood and the musk are pretty strong. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the last three that we've got. Um, this one is really cool. I like the bottle. We don't have a whole lot of um, non-clear bottles. This one is Confetti Daydream. Do not have the notes on here. Um, definitely sugary, floral. Yeah, yeah. Should probably a bit of. Something, something fruit, <laughs> apple maybe, 
maybe. I don't know. It's hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I've got this one, which is a thousand wishes, another uh, favorite among people. The keynotes are pink prosecco, sparkling quince. Again, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Crystal peonies, gilded amber, and amaretto cream. Very interesting, very fancy. Um, it's a bit like champagne toast, but yeah, yeah, the amber and the peony makes it different than the um, hair, I believe is what it was. Current and nectarine. Forgive me. We have so, so many fragrances, it's definitely hard to remember everything that goes in all of them. Yes, we do have all of um, this one in stock, except for the sugar scrub. Um, well, body scrub. Yeah, except for the body scrub. Uh, but we just don't have it right here. Um, but we do over there. That square of the wall. Um, uh, so the last one is another winter scent. Um, we still have quite a bit of they, yeah, there was a lot of stock for this one. Um, again, not one with notes attached to it. It is called Starlit Night. Very floral. Yeah. Yeah, floral. I don't detect anything fruity in this one, but there could be a hidden fruit, like raspberry or blackberry or something. Yeah, something subtle. The same sort of bottle as the confetti daydream. Oh, wow. That is all of the sort of testers we have up here today. Um, is there anything that stood out to you at all? Yeah? Sure, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, um, why don't we go over to that section? I can guide you through the body washes, body butters, and let's figure out um, which ones you'd like best. Yeah? Okay. Alright, just this way.